With long division, it's easy. You just need to think about the sentence, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers raw? And the way you do with BODMAS, you have this mnemonic device to remember the process. D is for divide, M is for multiply, S is to subtract, C is to check and see if there's anything left in our dividend to bring down, B is to bring down anything that is still there, and R is to repeat the process with the remainder. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers raw? Now this is the same process that you've been following with short division, and you've been doing a lot of this in your head, so don't let this confuse you. The same process still goes. That's your divisor, that's your dividend. You wanna see how many times your divisor fits inside your dividend. Two fits into three, how many times? Well, it doesn't. So we put zero and we finish with the division aspect. So now we go to the multiply. We always multiply what we've got in our quotient with the divisor. Zero times three is what? zero. Then you're going to subtract and I'm taking you through the process even though it's zero just so you can remember how to do it. So whatever you put down here you're going to subtract it. Now two take away zero still gives you two. Now check is there anything left in the dividend that we can bring down? Well yes there is. We work with one digit at a time so we can work with the three. So now that you've finished with that, cross it out and repeat the process. Do it again. So three into 23, how many times? Well, you would check your multiplication. You'd go to your three times tables as your guide. You'd find that three times seven is going to be 21. And just to double check, every time you get to a new section, I want you to write, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers raw? So now, when you did that, you divided. Multiply. 7 times 3 is 21. You put that at the bottom and you subtract. You find the difference. The difference between 21 and 23 is 2. Because 3 take away 1 is 2. 2 take away 2 is 0. So you finish subtracting. You check to see if there's anything you can bring down. Well, we've got a zero. Let's bring that down. And now we're looking at 20. So we repeat the process again. So write down, does McDonald's sell cheese burgers raw? And do it again. Divide. Three into 20 goes how many times? Well, six. Six times three, see, because you've done your divide, now you multiply. Six times three gives us 18. Find what's left. What's the difference? What's left over? Well, 20 take away 18 is two. That's what's left over. Check to see if there's something we can bring down. Yes, there is, the four. So now we're working with 24 and we can repeat the process. So do it again. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers raw? Three into 24, because we are dividing again. Three times what gets you to 24? Three times eight. So you put eight on top of the number we're working on. Eight times three is 24. You put that there, so you've done divide, you've multiplied, now you've got to subtract. So 24 take away 24 is going to be zero. Is there anything left that we can check, you know, to bring down? No. So we've subtracted, we've checked, there's nothing we can bring down, and there's no remainder and nothing to repeat. So the answer of how many times three fits into 2,304, it fits in 768 times. And if we want to check, we use our times tables. The quotient multiplies with the divisor. That's how you check. So let's do it. 
768 times 3. 8 times 3 is 24. Put the 4, carry the 2. You don't even have to wait for your teacher to mark you. You can mark yourself. 6 times 3 is 18. Plus 2 is 20. You put the 0, carry the 2. 7 times 3 is 21. Plus 2 is 23. And there you have it. The product of these two numbers matches because it's exactly what we had as a dividend. So that should show you the relationship between multiplication and division. If you have any questions, take note of it. We'll go through it in Seesaw and our face-to-face -face session. Till then, take care.